Hello, I'm Clark Simpson, and we're going to have a little mini seminar today, part of our Tech Talk series, talking about uprights, one of my favorite subjects. We're going to start with a little bit of a review of stuff I know you already know, and beginning with that, the cool things about Clark uprights. One of those is we use nested I beams as opposed to flat face rails. You can see in this picture what I'm talking about is a flat faced upright. All the front edges of the rails are lined up and the inner rail is hidden. On a nested upright, when we stagger the upright rails forward, we can actually expose the inner rail and do some cool things like put extended side thrust rollers on it. Why do we do that? We get less deflection out of a nested rail upright because it has a thick flange to the front edge. We get the ability to put on external side thrust rollers, which gives us really good capacity in side loading. And the way we do it, we don't lose any load center, even though the whole nest is staggered forward. Now, what's new and different these days is we're introducing a new I-beam rail section. And some differences about that rail section are, first of all, it's 25% stronger in terms of material. It's harder and it's got higher yield strength, so we end up with less rail flaking and tough applications, and the high strength gets us where we need to go as far as life. The big deal, though, is the, the rail section itself is different. You see from this picture that I've superimposed the new fatter section over the old version, and I've got a little circle shown in here where it gives you an idea of the difference in what I call torsional resistance. So this rail is actually bigger, and out of that we get less deflection both from a forward perspective as well as in torsion where it twists. So in a sense, you've heard me say many times before that Clark uprights are stiffer than a competition. Well, in this case, the stiff just got stiffer. <laughs>